Overview of Actionable Segmentation You can use actionable segmentation to segment and curate similar client profiles and design timely and personalized client outreach programs. For example, as a financial advisor, you can create an actionable list of high net worth individuals for wealth plan outreach initiatives. Then you can use this actionable list to target prospects for wealth products designed for their segment. You can sort and contact prospects by region to perform outreach actions efficiently. You can create a variety of actionable lists based on your needs. For example, as an auto dealer, you can create a list of leads for a test drive and follow up on store visit outreach initiatives. Or, as an admissions director, create a list of prospects for an admissions initiative. Implementing actionable segmentation involves four steps. Step one, the admin creates and activates an actionable list definition. An actionable list definition has an associated data set containing records obtained by joining information across multiple objects according to your business requirements. For example, if a business requirement is to sell a wealth plan designed for individuals or households whose net worth is greater than 1 million US dollars, then your admin can create a data set containing such records by joining objects such as account, contact, lead, and financial account. Step two, a sales or service executive creates an actionable list using the list definition. This task is performed by someone who understands the target customer segments or profiles with whom the organization does business. You can use actionable lists to create and curate meaningful client segments using actionable list definitions. When creating an actionable list, you must specify the actionable list definition that's created by your admin. The data set related to the actionable list definition is used as a data source for creating an actionable list. Specify filter criteria to retrieve the records that fit the segment represented in the actionable list. Step three, list creators configure an actionable list. After creating actionable lists, List creators can set priorities for an actionable list and relate an omniscript to a list to guide sales or service agents when they engage with prospects. Step four, agents engage with prospects. After actionable lists are assigned to sales or service agents, the agents can engage with prospects seamlessly without leaving their sales or service console. They can document a prospect's responses, complete transactions, and wrap up the engagement by taking notes and scheduling a follow-up meeting. Now we've covered the basics of actionable segmentation. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.